Right now, law enforcement agencies across our region are working with the FBI investigating bomb threats. They were made at Target stores across the country, including here in our region over the weekend. The person who made the threats in Vermont, New York, and New Hampshire is claiming to represent the LGBTQ community. NBC 5's Lauren Granada joins us now live outside the Target store in South Burlington tonight. Lauren, one local organization says this claim could potentially do more harm to them. Brian and Alice, that's right. Target removed some of its Pride Month merchandise last month. Police say that's what motivated these latest threats here at Target. And now the Pride Center of Vermont is reaching out and speaking out, saying that one person does not represent the whole community. Any violence is harmful to the community, no matter where it's coming from. The Pride Center of Vermont reacting to a string of bomb threats made to Target stores over the weekend, claiming to represent the LGBTQ plus community. We only represent ourselves, so I think saying that you're representing the full community also has an impact. Officials say the threats made via email across the country, including in New York, Vermont and New Hampshire on Saturday, were meant to cause economic harm to the company. Target made the decision to close the store temporarily and evacuate it. In South Burlington, police searched the store, finding nothing. We helped them uh, do a cursory search of the property, rendered that property safe, and they were able to resume operations in about 20 minutes. In May, Target pulled some Pride Month merchandise from its shelves after the company says its employees were being threatened because of it. Our community is being rainbow washed all the time with corporations trying to make money on our community because it's Pride Month. The Pride Center says that's even more reason why violence should never be the answer. It just keeps hurting us more and more and we're already in so much pain. Now again, the FBI and Joint Terrorism Task Force are leading this investigation. We will, of course, bring you updates as we learn more information. We're live here in South Burlington. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.